Topic of today's discussion is about the drug clearance, drug elimination, drug excretion. Well, in today's discussion, we will talk about interesting points and very important points. Uh, one must know all these points uh, to know the basic concept of this particular point, this particular lecture that is about the removal of the drug from the body, drug excretion, drug clearance. Well, what will we discuss? First of all, let me tell you guys all those things are points that are supposed to be discussed in today's discussion with you guys well the very first thing we'll talk about the drug clearance in simple words then we will uh, just go come towards the, this very point that is the, the confusion between these two terms elimination and excretion i have found uh, actually a number of my friends and fellows and peers and students they are feeling confusion when they are actually uh, you are uh, when they are asked about the elimination and excretion what is the basic difference between these two points <laughs> well i spoke really fast let me just make this speed a little bit lower well you guys you guys can uh, slow the speed in the setting of the youtube well coming to the point what else will we discuss first of all let me clear that, that point we'll talk about these two points elimination and excretion we'll just clear the concept of this these two points and then we will tell you people about the rate of clearance, rate of elimination, what, what is this actually you are talking about. And then we will talk about simple clearance and renal clearance. Then we will talk about the very point that is regarding the drug order, types or order. Uh, first order clearance, first order elimination, first order reaction, zero order reactions, elimination, types, etc. So we will talk about these all points in our today's discussion. Well, so let's commence our topic from the very first point that is drug clearance. What is drug clearance? Simple. It is the removal of the drug from the body. Removal of the drug from the body. By body we mean systemic circulation. From the systemic circulation and more specifically if I talk, it is actually regarding plasma. So plasma, if it gets rid of, of the uh, rid of the what? drug then it is called as drug clearance removal of the drug from the plasma is called drug clearance removal of the drug from the system of circulation is drug clearance removal of the drug from the body is drug clearance and simple words these are all are the definitions and one must get uh, one must get all these definitions well now the point is regarding elimination and excretion sometimes you may see excretion of the drug from the body Sometimes you may see in uh, certain books elimination of the drug from the body. Now the question is what is the difference between these two points? Number one, elimination. Number two, excretion. What is the very, very basic difference? Very simple. Regarding elimination point of view, elimination and excretion point of view, you must go through certain books and some authentic books, standard books. Well, A is per my study. What I got was in standard books like Pharmacokinetics is actually the drug absorption, drug distribution, drug metabolism, and drug excretion. Or, pharmacokinetics is actually drug absorption, drug distribution, and drug elimination. Now, what is the difference between these two? Wait a simple. Here we talked about one, two, three, and four points. Drug absorption, drug distribution, drug metabolism, drug excretion. But here, we talk about one, two, three points. Drug absorption, drug distribution, drug elimination. So now what is the difference? First of all, the difference is of numbers. Second is, we did not mention here metabolism and excretion in this point, in this portion of the division. Well, standard books state that elimination is actually an umbrella term which covers both these two terms, metabolism and excretion. If you say elimination, you are actually saying the collection of metabolism plus excretion, combination of these two both, okay? If I say elimination, by elimination, I actually mean metabolism plus excretion. So if you are writing pharmacokinetics this way, then you must not write elimination instead of excretion. If you are writing elimination, then you must not write metabolism. What I'm telling you guys is that, that if you are asked regarding pharmacokinetics, you must try it this way or this way or you can add both but in different portions of the paper. But if you are asking why so you must try well, What is the difference now? Simple difference is in this point, elimination. This is the very point that is actually covering both these two terms, metabolism and excretion. So from now onwards, what is pharmacokinetics? 
you will say it is drug absorption distribution metabolism excretion you will not use the word elimination if you are using the word elimination then you must not use these two both metabolism and excretion you must say absorption distribution and elimination is actually drug pharmacokinetic okay as regarding pharmacokinetic so pharmacokinetics can be defined either this way or this way must not mix elimination with the excretion while writing the definition of the pharmacokinetics okay so i hope it is clear now once again in short pharmacokinetics is drug absorption distribution metabolism and excretion okay this way is correct or it is absorption distribution or elimination so where are the two terms like metabolism and excretion in short elimination is actually covering both the terms so by elimination we actually mean metabolism and excretion so from now onwards don't be confused Coming to the next point, rate of clearance. Now, what is rate of clearance? Simple point, rate of clearance or rate of elimination. Whenever you are talking about the rate, by rate we mean the time. So simple, what is this now rate of clearance? It is actually the concentration of the drug that is cleared from the body with respect to time. So by drug concentration we mean mg of the drug, time by time we mean minute. So mg of the drug cleared from the body in minute, in a minute is called rate of clearance simple clearance if you do uh, if you are talking about simple clearance then you are not bound to write the minutes but if you are talking about a rate of clearance then you are bound to mention the minute so clearance uh, another way a kind of pharmacological way this is a kind literal way simple way a kind of pharmacological description or uh, way of understanding is that clearance is actually the rate of drug cleared from the body uh, divided by plasma drug concentration okay so if you just take the rate of drug cleared from the body if you know the rate how uh, in uh, how much time the drug is actually cleared from the body and divide that by the plasma drug concentration what is the concentration of the drug in the plasma if you just take the ratio of the both you will get the clearance so sometimes you might hear the word renal clearance what, do you, what does it mean now uh, renal clearance is actually the clearance of the drug from the renal route so clearance total body routes they will be added just whereas regarding a renal clearance specifically we are talking about the kidney so in kidney we talk about what nephron we talk about the urine and plasma again it is now rate so we will talk about the time also again we got two things number one rate of drug cleared number two plasma drug plasma drug is here now rate of drug cleared is via which route via renal route so you will write here urine because the drug is cleared from the urine via urine so urine is actually uh, synthesized when the plasma rate, plasma flows through the uh, Bowman's capsule through the nephron in short so then that uh, urine will be uh, with the drug will be cleared out so drug in the urine is here via multiply multiply plasma flow how much uh, the plasma is flowing through what is the rate of this flow and divided by time minute so this is actually what the very first portion that is actually rate of drug cleared rate of drug cleared divided by plasma concentration now plasma is here plasma drug concentration will remain the same so now we are talking about renal so that's why i wrote here urine plasma flow divided by minute so whatever the route you are talking about you must write the drug uh, the way the drug is uh, cleared and divided by plasma drug concentration so this is how we go through the renal clearance and next point is regarding the types or the orders like first order zero order many of our students they are actually confused when we just ask from them that what is the first order what is zero order like certain questions if you are asked from the students like uh, uh, which of the orders like zero order or first order is depending upon the drug concentration the question they feel a kind of confusion if you ask about what is the the uh, which of these two which one of these two is actually responsible to um, go through the uh, constant fraction of the drug means constant fraction of the drug if if, if it's clear from the body now what is this particular type mentioning whether it is first or zero order so let me clear all these confusions like uh, in this particular portion now what is first order simple it is actually a constant fraction of the drug when removed from the body this is called first order remember this is depending upon the drug concentration in the plasma and it follows half life that is half of the drug you, you can say in short uh, when removed from the body this is called first order reaction let me make people understand about this first order here in a very simple easy peasy way we have suppose uh, the concentration of the drug that is 100 now what happens according to first order it is must 
but we must depend upon this drug concentration that's why we say it depends upon the plasma drug concentration in the plasma if there are 100 parts out of 150 is must that 50 will move means half of the drug is supposed to move whatever is the drug concentration in the plasma half of that will move half of that will move that's why we say first order reactions are responsible uh, are actually depending upon drug concentration in the plasma so if drug concentration is 100 half of this is actually 50 so 50 will move 50 will stay in the plasma so that's why it is depending upon the plasma concentration now what is the 50 of 50 it means what is the half of the 50 it is 25 so from 50 25 is supposed to move and 25 is supposed to remain in the plasma then from 25 again 12 point something will move from the plasma and 12.5 will remain so likewise what is happening half of the drug is actually removed from the body so that's why we say first order is actually a constant fraction means fraction is actually a kind of half I consider this point like half consider fraction as a half it is half of the drug constant fraction means half of the drug so next point it depends upon drug concentration in the plasma first order clearance is actually depending upon drug concentration in the plasma why it is depending because we know we got this point that if drug is having there are 100 parts of the drug out of 150 is supposed to remove from the body 50 parts are supposed to be removed or cleared from the body and if there are 50 parts from that 50 again half half of the parts are supposed to be removed cleared from the body so this is why the this is first order reactions are depending upon the drug concentration in the plasma and constant fraction by fraction for no one word just guess that fraction means half we know fraction this is fraction half <laughs> well making you guys understand in certain ways i hope you guys are getting me zero order actions no what is zero order constant amount of the drug now what is constant amount of the drug simple if you get this point then from no one words no confusion no confusion at all we got 100 mg now a constant amount is supposed to be removed now what does it mean by constant amount out of this 100 mg every time 10 10 mg is supposed to be removed 10 mg again 10 mg again 10 mg means there is a, there is no any kind of dependency on this drug concentration in the plasma whatsoever is the concentration of the drug in the plasma from that certain amount like 10 mg is a certain amount this specific amount is supposed to be removed so if a specific amount is removed time and again this is called zero order and if constant fraction is removed it is called first order and it is depending upon the drug concentration because it is a fraction whereas it is not a fraction it is total specific amount so this is not depending upon the drug concentration whatsoever is a drug concentration nothing is going to happen why because constant amount is supposed to be removed and there are certain drugs like uh, aspirin phenytoin etc they follow zero order actions and most of the drugs follow first order kinetics clearance reactions <laughs> well i hope you got the entire discussion if still you have confusion drop in the comment box and don't forget telling your friends about dr juju team lectures